Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, please subscribe and tap that bell for more videos. Build your life, do it yourself. So the things that you will need will be a metal wreath form. I think mine's about a 12 or 14 inch. Some clothespins. Some craft paint. I'm using white, red, and then pink. Um, these are Apple Barrel brand. And then if you want, you can use um, extra embellishments that you want to use to decorate your wreath. Um, I'm going to be using this um, wooden heart. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting my clothespins. Um, I'm just going to be painting the flat top side of the clothespins. And I'm starting out painting um, some pink ones. And right now I'm just painting them a uh, solid pink on the top side. Um, I ended up painting 20 of these pink clothespins. Okay, now that I have uh, my 20 clothespins, I'm going to start painting some red clothespins in the same way, just red on the flat top of the clothespin. Make sure you cover up the metal part as well. I'm also going to be painting 20 of these plain red clothespins, uh, plain for now. Okay, after I finish painting all of my 20 pink and 20 red, I'm going to let them dry. Okay, now that they are dry, I'm going to start adding some polka dots on my pink clothespins, and I'm using my white craft paint to do so. I'm going to be adding the polka dots on all 20 of my pink clothespins. Okay, now I'm starting to do the same with the red clothespins. I'm going to be adding the white polka dots on them as well. Um, this is the pattern that I have decided to use. You can use whatever pattern you would like for your wreath.
And the amount of clothespins that you end up with will depend on the size of your wreath. Okay, so now all of my my 40 clothespins all are painted with the little polka dots. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to new patterns. So for this new pattern, I'm gonna be using uh, still the red and the white and the pink. So I'm gonna start with the red and I'm just painting the larger top half of the clothespin red and leaving the bottom half plain for now. I'm gonna go ahead and paint 10 red clothespins like this with just the top half red. Okay, I also painted 10 clothespins with the pink tops just like that. And I went ahead and let them dry. So next I'm going to be painting the other ends white. Just painting the white up to meeting where the red let up. Okay, and I did that on the pink ones as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start adding my clothespins onto my wreath. Um, as you can see, I'm connecting them on the first two wires that go around. Um, you don't have to, but when I do this, I try to kind of alternate. If you can see, um, pushing one farther down and the next one leaving it back a little bit. Um, just to give a little bit of variation. Um, so if you can see that I am starting to make a pattern with my different designs. I've got the pink polka dot, then the red polka dot, and then um, using the pink and white, um, the pink and white color block, and then I'm just alternating the different colors just to give variation in the wreath. I'm just gonna be doing this all the way around until the wreath is completely full. Um, I ended up um, painting 60 clothespins and that's the exact amount that I needed for my wreath. I'm just continuing to try to alternate the clothespins as best as possible. And sticking with the same pattern all the way around. Okay, so now my wreath is almost done with the clothespins. Um, I'm just finishing up my last section here. I 
think it's turning out really cute. Okay, so there's that all 60 fit perfectly on there. So there is that with all the clothespins. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my heart ready. So I painted my heart just a solid white. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be gluing it using my hot glue gun to glue the heart on the back of one of the clothespins. Um, I didn't film it, but I did end up putting a little bit more glue on the back of the heart so it would stick to some of the other clothespins ne nearby. After that dried, just went ahead and clipped that on. And um, I did end up, like I said, adding a little bit extra glue just to make sure it stays. Um, but here is my finished wreath. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all my links below and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Take care.